Tense moments last night and a lengthy investigation today. Gunfire in multiple places in the popular Sandestin area and a body found dead in a burning car. So it all ended with a deputy firing back at the suspect and tonight Walton County Sheriff's investigators are trying to piece together exactly what happened. Let's start with a look at where this all went down as you can see on this map we're about to show you. The shootings are spread out across multiple crime scenes. They're marked with red arrows on this map of Sandestin. Shots rang out near Heron Walk in Baytown Avenue, east in Sandestin. One person was injured. In Baytown Wharf, a short distance away, a burning car was found in a wooded area near Ascension Sacred Heart with a dead body inside. Is the dead body in the burning car related to the shootings? Well, that's a question tonight. And more information is now coming out from investigators who've been combing the crime scenes. News Channel 7's Austin Meta joins us live from the Walton County Sheriff's Office with more. Austin. That's right, guys. I'm here at the Walton County Sheriff's Office where uh, officials did update us via a press conference about all the events that took place uh, on Thursday night here in Walton County. Um, they say that Thursday night at approximately 11 p.m., deputies were on a separate call and they heard through their down car windows gunfire. They tried to uh, attempt to triangulate that gunfire, determine where the shots came from. As they arrived on the scene, the deputies did see a subject on foot and that subject opened fire on one of the deputies. Uh, realizing that he was under fire, the deputy stepped out of his patrol vehicle and returned fire. He fires once. There's a second round, at least, from the subject, firing back at, deputy to, uh, at the deputy. And then at that point, the deputy fires again and neutralizes the subject shortly thereafter. Now, the suspect is still alive and is currently in the hospital at Fort Walton Beach Medical Center. At the same time that this was going on, deputies responded to a car fire near Ascension Sacred Heart Hospital. Uh, unfortunately, it was later discovered that there was a victim inside deceased. Now, the Walton County Sheriff's Office says that they now know that the two incidents are related. They say that the now deceased driver of the car was another victim of the gunman. Uh, and, and a separate victim uh, of the gunman drove north, actually, to Baytown, where he called 911. And that person was transported to Fort Walton Beach Medical. Uh, and a final um, incident here, two other victims were pulled over just outside of the Sandestin Gate, where they called 911. Now, their vehicles were hit by gunfire, but they were not injured. Now, with all of this going on, different locations for the same related event, Captain Dustin Cosen says that the teamwork was necessary for them on a night like that. We split our teams into those three different areas to ensure that we can collect all the evidence. Now, the sheriff's office has identified the gunman as 21-year-old Gunner Cole of Warner Robins, Georgia. They say, um, they say that Cole was here on vacation, that he is not from here. They also tell us that there is no reason to believe at all uh, that the gunman Cole knew any of his victims. Uh, they say that this was just another random act of violence. Um, in South Walton, I'm Austin Maida with News Channel 7. Thank you, Austin. We'll keep you updated as this story continues to develop.